Hello, I'm David Kerr and you are watching Shalom World News. Here's your latest news headlines from around the globe. A Catholic man in Pakistan has walked free after 11 years in prison following the quashing of his conviction for blasphemy. 38-year-old Imran Massey from Faisalabad was sentenced to life imprisonment in 2009 after eyewitnesses claimed he set fire to books containing verses of the Quran. That conviction has now been overturned, though, on appeal by Lahore High Court, speaking in the wake of that decision to the Catholic charity Aid to the Church in Need. Mr Massey's lawyer said his client was relieved to finally have won his freedom. He also demanded to know, however, why Mr Massey spent 11 years in prison for a crime he never committed. Following his conviction, Mr Massey's case was transferred to at least 10 judges, while his appeal hearing was postponed almost 70 times. Pakistan's blasphemy laws have faced mounting criticism in recent years throughout the international community and are often viewed as a means of legally persecuting religious minorities such as Catholics. Iraq has declared Christmas an official and fixed national holiday for the first time in its history. The decision was taken by the Iraqi parliament on December the 16th. The idea was first suggested in October by the country's most senior Catholic, Cardinal Louis Raphael Sacco, the patriarch of Babylon of the Chaldeans. Two months later, and his proposal has now met with the unanimous approval of the country's president and parliament. In response, Cardinal Sacco said he welcomed the official recognition of Christmas with great joy and satisfaction adding that he was grateful to the country's parliamentarians for casting a vote, quote, for the good of their fellow Christians. The parliamentary recognition of Christmas comes in the wake of the official announcement of the first ever papal visit to Iraq, which will take place in March of next year. As for Iraq's new Christmas holiday, it comes into effect immediately. Bishops across the globe have been granted permission to allow their priests to celebrate up to four masses on Christmas Day. The previous limit was three masses. The decree changing that was published by the Vatican's Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of Sacraments on December the 16th. In it, they explain that their decision has been taken to ensure social distancing and other COVID-19 health protocols can be observed in churches across the world. The congregation are also granting permission for bishops to allow their priests to celebrate up to four masses on January the 1st the Solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, and also on January the 6th, the Feast of the Epiphany. Meanwhile, Pope Francis greeted the employees of the Vatican on Monday to thank them for their service to the Holy See over the past year. This annual Christmas tradition took place in the Vatican's Paul VI Audience Hall. The Holy Father noted how this year's pandemic has caused both health and financial problems for families and institutions across the world, and that, he said, included the Vatican. The most important thing during Christmas tide, said Pope Francis, was to quote, rediscover the birth of the Son of God as the greatest event in history. It was he suggested the Holy Father that the church must announce to the world as saviour. Insecurity is the greatest challenge facing Nigeria today. That's the opinion of the Bishop of the nation's capital, Archbishop Ignatius Kagama of Abuja. His comments follow a recent spate of killings and kidnappings in the northern states of Katsima and Borno. On December the 11th, more than 300 schoolboys were abducted in Katsima by the Islamist terror group Boko Haram. Most of the boys have subsequently been released. Speaking via Facebook, Archbishop Kagama said that when the government fails in its primary responsibility to protect the lives and property of all citizens, it, quote, loses credibility and anarchy beckons. He thus called upon the Nigerian government to now ensure that, quote, terrorists are checkmated, criminals rounded up, bandits dismantled, and kidnappers put out of business. Tanzania has a new college for training candidates for the sacred priesthood. The Nazareth Mawenda Kalima Seminary is located in the northwestern town of Kahama. The seminary's inaugural mass was celebrated by Cardinal Polycarp Pengo, the Archbishop Emeritus of the Archdiocese of Dar es Salaam. He was joined by 26 other Tanzanian bishops, along with many priests. During his homily, Cardinal Pengo stressed that the institution of a new seminary is the work of God, and as such, those behind the project should not worry in the face of adversity. Finally, prepare to see double. This is Father Emerson Aguiar and Father Enrique Aguiar. They are identical twins from Brazil who were ordained to the sacred priesthood together on December the 11th. The 31-year-old brothers belong to the Congregation of Missionaries of Our Lady of Salette. The ordination took place in their home city of Caramajiba in the northeast of the Latin American country. Father Aguia and Father Aguia and Multos Anos. Well, that's all for now. Do join me next time for some more news headlines from across the globe. Until then, may God bless you. Shalom.